Okay, so these landed on my desk today. These are Gossler's clone heads produced by Weber Bricks. Again, for the second time. Yep, we're doing this again. You cannot stop me. Yes, I know we did one almost a month ago, but there are more now. So what's changed? Well, we've officially have 10 more heads from various clone troopers, some generic and some named. Let's just start with the named ones as there are only three of note here. Hauser is a character I was questioning whether or not would get coverage, since there isn't a lot of facial details that set him apart aside from the gash mark on his face, which is highlighted here in Gosler's interpretation of a 2020 style Hauser. Waxer and Boyle are the only other named clones in this wave, then they're the most anticipated in my opinion. I was hoping that Gosler would make these because they're part of a series of episodes in the earlier seasons of The Clone Wars that seem to be more memorable. Specifically, the episode where Waxer and Boyle are deployed on Ryloth to stop a Separatist invasion as they encounter Numa, a little girl who wandered off while the Separatists had rounded off most of the village. It's really cool to finally have a near complete and fleshed out 212th attack battalion. The other six expressions are generic and meant for almost any clone trooper. I've gone ahead and modeled them on Crosshair Bricks, 9th Assault, and Generic Grunt with GCC Hawk's helmet. The expressions range from anger, smiling, and sight aim. These heads you could probably just justify purchasing in bigger quantities since they're just general expressions for most other clones. The smiling head is a bit of a refreshing take since it seems like most of the expressions of clones that custom producers tend to make are often stoic or angry in some way. The same can be said for these pilot helmets which are easily the highlight of this wave. Fixed heads in the correct skin tone of clones and varying expressions. I really like the visor details because it's sort of a one-up from LEGO's official head which omitted the lighter orange strip. As always, these products were designed by Gossler and printed by Weber Bricks and UV. I've said this before about Weber Bricks, but make no mistake, even though these clone heads are UV, they absolutely do not feel like the shortcomings of UV at all. If you've ever picked up a product before from Weber Bricks, you'd be sure to expect the same quality consistently with the products compared to other UV printers. There's just something about the glossiness and faint scan lines that appear on less subpar UV prints. There is no margin for error. You either have to be Weber quality or just pad print. Well, that's really all I have for today. If you guys want to check out these products, I will leave a link in the description and a pinned comment as well for Weber Bricks online store. Go and follow Gossler if you want to keep up with his current and future design work as well. Until next time.